Hi friends, and thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Linux EC2 instance on AWS that has the Mate desktop environment, or basically the graphical user interface or GUI installed. It's easier than you think, so let's get started. Here in the AWS management console, link above if you need help getting started with this, let's navigate to EC2. These of course are your virtual servers in the cloud, and we'll launch a new instance. The easiest thing to do here is just do a control F to find on your browser. Mate. And down here, you'll see that there's an Amazon machine image or AMI with Mate desktop environment pre-installed. So super easy. I'll go ahead and select that. For instance type, I'm going to stick with something in the free tier, but you can do something else if you need to. And then configure instance details. I'll leave all the defaults on this screen, add storage. This is going to be our Elastic Block Store or EBS volume, basically your hard drive. I'll go with all the defaults here as well. Add tags, I'm gonna skip this, but I do need to make a change in the security group. Next, the security group, if you aren't familiar, is basically your firewall that sits at the EC2 instance level and it controls traffic going in and out. Once this instance is up and running, I'm gonna to connect to it through Remote Desktop Protocol or RDP from my local laptop. So I'm going to add a rule for RDP and source, I'll say my IP. Then we'll review and launch and launch. Next, you're going to be prompted for a key pair. This is what allows you to securely connect to your instance. I already have one that I'll select here, but you can also create a new one if you don't have one already. And then you'll need to confirm that you have access to that and launch instances. Okay, so that's off and running. Let's view instances. And here we'll see the instance state is pending. This might take a few minutes to come up, so I'll pause the video and be back when it's done. All right, the instance is running. Status checks are good. So let's connect to this. Just select the instance and then come up here to connect. This first time we connect, we're going to be using SSH. And I find the easiest way to do that is with EC2 instance connect here. I'll update the username though from root to EC2 user. This is the default user for any EC2 instance and we'll say connect. EC2 instance connect is super convenient. It just launches right here in the browser and we're securely connected. There's no additional tools or keys or credentials or anything you need to worry about. So if you haven't used this before, I would highly recommend it. But let's do some updates. It's actually prompting us here to do a sudo yum update. I'll do a dash y as well. We'll just make sure that everything's got the latest. I'll give this a second to finish and be right back. Okay, update complete. The next thing I need to do is update the password for EC2 user. That's the user I'm logged in with right now. So to do that, you say sudo passwd, the username ec2-user, I'll enter the new password, and confirm, and that was successful. Okay, now what I want to do is go to the remote desktop client on my laptop and we'll actually connect to this and see the graphical user interface. So let me grab the IP address for this instance. I'll come back here to the instance details. I'll grab this public IPv4 address right here. Just copy that to my clipboard. Then I'll come to my start menu. I'm running on Windows locally. I'll type in remote for remote desktop connection. And then here I'll paste in that IP address that I copied a second ago. And then I'll also need to update the username. So this will be ec2-user and then connect. We're okay with this, we'll connect. And yes, again, and here we go. This is the Linux machine. We know the password because we set that a second ago through the SSH session. So I'll enter that. Now I find that I do sometimes have this issue the first time I log in. I'm not quite sure why, but I find that if I reboot the instance, it works just fine. Maybe it has something to do with the updates that are applied. So I'll say, okay, 
we'll come back here to the instance and instance state will reboot. I'll let that come back up and be right back. Okay, we're up and running again. Let's bring up our remote desktop dialog again. And we'll connect. Say yes. And this time when you log in, you should be good to go. Let's try this one more time. Okay. And here's our Linux machine with the Mate desktop environment or GUI. You've got some basic applications here, a folder system, and so on. So that's it. That's how to create a Linux EC2 instance with the Mate desktop installed. If you found this helpful, check out some of my other AWS videos in my playlist. And thanks so much for watching.